Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Saboxy Creative Minds. Today I will be teaching you how to make resin rosy rose flower from scratch to finish. And now before I start, please do watch completely and for more new creations do subscribe, like and share and support my channel. So let us start. This beautiful base I bought from Sacris Hand Sculpt. They have a beautiful collection, especially for resin artists. I'll be attaching their link in my description. So here I'm using black color pigment resin as a base. Resin I have used from Rikan's design. It's one is to two ratio and black color pigment I have used from Fortune Chemi. So next I am using this uh, aluminium foil to fill the gap and also to give uh, embos uh, uh, uplift for our true zeros. I am inserting it into the gaps. So to get this beautiful uh, base, you can contact uh, Sacris Sand Sculpts. Uh, I'll, have, I'll be having their link in the description. They do have many stuff, uh, for uh, especially for uh, uh, resin as well as uh, furnishings. So go through their website and contact them for whatever your need is. So here I am just adding some more of uh, foil. Adding some clear resin to it. So these are the peels from the Druzy mold which we'll be using for the petals of the rose. This peel I have attached on the base also and later on I have uh, made a bud of rose and attached it. Well, I'm sorry, I accidentally lost some part of the video. Anyways, I'll be showing you how to make the rose bud. And I have used the druzy mold from Rafat Sheikh. Uh, link and for the druzy peels, I have just applied, uh, you know, I have poured a clear resin on the druzy mold and just after curing, I have peeled it. And here I am making a bud. I am cutting it into the center, the druzy peel and then twisting it into the shape of a bud
it's just twisting into the roll and then attaching a second uh, layer just as a roll see to it you roll it into a bud shape of the rose this way i have attached the bud in the center with the help of the glue gun and now i'm just attaching the petals with glue gun so here i'm using heat gun to just uh, uh, soften my petals in this way it will be easy to fix it into the shape using glue gun and attaching it as a third layer for it for the rose so here i have just uh, cut the uh, druzy mold into the two like uh, not druzy mold the peel of the druzy uh, mold uh, into two parts and then made a petal one one petal i mean i have cut the peel into two and uh, made it as one petal just fix the petals next to the edge of the petal one by one and uh, cover it into the layers like first layer and then round it up with the second layer and the third layer continue it till you fill the mold this beautiful rosy peel is from lara creation i'll just i'll uh, i'll have her link in my description as well she has a beautiful collection you can go through her page in instagram and see how um, beautiful the outcome has come from the uh, from her mold it's really sparkling 
just like diamonds so here i'm fixing it to the border like uh, to the frame of the wood uh, to completely make it as a druzy effect so this will be doing with the help of glue gun glue gun i have you i'm using is from besto charms you can find their instagram handle in the description below So here I'm using Asian paint varnish with Haxons gold color and uh, special gold uh, color powder pigment to give a border for our druzy uh, rose. So I'll be just uh, filling the edges of uh, the rose just as a border. Here I'm mixing it, uh, mixing the pigments with the varnish. I am using silicon uh, stick from Abhay Gambhir. So you can see how I am filling it with to the border of the rose just slightly. Mm -hmm. To give the gold border. So you can see how beautifully this rosy rose has turned up. I am sure you enjoyed the making of it as much as I did making it. And for more such beautiful makings do subscribe, like and share and support my channel. And do go for the description below for more information. Thank you.